Welcome back YouTube. I know it's been a couple of days. Actually, it's been about a week now since I've baked anything. Um, I did do a lot of baking and it's up on my Instagram, a lot of baking for St. Patrick's Day, but I wasn't able to make any videos, unfortunately. Um, I just got my laptop back the other day from the Apple store. It needed a screen replacement. So that's where I've been. But without further ado, what um, I'd like to make today is a vegan cookie. Reason being for that is with St. Patrick's Day over, um, I think it's time for something healthy. You know, I'm back on my um, losing my winter weight mode now, so uh, it's time to start shedding the pounds from the winter, and I'm going to make a healthy, dairy-free, vegan um, cookies. Now you can also make these um, non-vegan as well, but the version that I'm going to make today is vegan. So the, what I did first was I just took one avocado and I mashed it up. I did that beforehand so you wouldn't have to watch me sit here and mash up a whole avocado. So you take one avocado, give it a good mash up, take half a cup of, this is, um, coconut sugar. This is palm coconut sugar. So take a half a cup of the coconut sugar, mix that right on in with the avocado. Now this is where you can deviate. Um, right here I have a mixture of one tablespoon of flaxseed to three tablespoons of water. That's what you could use in lieu of an egg if you're vegan. So since this is a vegan recipe, this is what they call a vegan um, egg. So it, like I said, it's one tablespoon of um, flaxseed to three tablespoons of water. If you're not going vegan with this, follow the same first two ingredients and you could just throw in one egg. But um, we're going to turn this up a little extra healthier and we're going to throw in our vegan egg. So what you do is you just mix that the tablespoon of flaxseed with the water and you can mix that up about five or so minutes before you're ready to get started with your baking. Okay so right now we have in there the avocado. We have the brown sugar. I'm sorry not the brown sugar it looks brown. The coconut sugar and we have the flaxseed. So the last thing we're going to add to this portion of this is a half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. So we'll just give a little, there we go. I use the pure clear vanilla extract, but you could use whatever you have on hand. So with the, these are what we are going to start with. These are our base ingredients. We're going to give this a nice mixture thoroughly combine all of this and make sure you continue the mashing up of that avocado. It's, I did a pretty good job getting it started mashing but as you mix this up you can just keep making sure you mash it. The more you mash it the more smoother your cookies are going to turn out. Scrape some of this avocado off the walls here. Don't want to lose any of the good stuff. So this is looking pretty good for now. Giving this a nice stir. Okay so this is what mine looks like for now. This is just the um, avocado, the coconut sugar, the flaxseed, and the vanilla extract. So we have this all mixed together. We're just going to set that aside just for a moment. And in a small bowl, we are going to whisk together one third of a cup of cocoa powder, dark cocoa powder. Um, Remember, if you're going to make this vegan, the dark cocoa powder needs to be 70% cocoa or higher. 
we are going to mix in a third cup of flour. And we will mix in a half a teaspoon of some baking soda. So it's just a little out of there. Okay. Oh, okay, so grab a little whisk and now we're just going to give this a nice whisk together, combining all these dry ingredients. Okay, so now I'm going to take the dry ingredients. We're going to pour them into the bowl with the wet ingredients and we are going to gently start to mix this together and I do mean gently at the beginning you don't want the cocoa to go flying everywhere this will come together just keep on giving this a nice stir from the bottom up get all the Cocoa off the bottom, off the walls. There we go. And it's starting to form into a nice, neat dough for us. Scrape the walls, separate it all. Oh, and it's already actually starting to smell amazing. So, this is starting to look pretty good, but it may take a couple of minutes to get a full, get that fully incorporated in. Okay, this is looking like a nice dark batter now. So now what I'm going to add to this, which I have pre-measured out here on my digital scale, Um, I put in about two ounces of dark chocolate baking chips. And once again, if this is a vegan recipe, you have to remember to make sure all your chocolates, your dark chocolates, are 70% cocoa or higher. Anything less is um, not considered vegan. So give this balls. A nice scrape. Still see some avocado, but that's okay. These will all bake together, all just the same. So this is what you're going to end up looking, uh, your dough should end up coming out looking like. Uh, I'm sorry if the light's not the brightest in here, next time I'll uh, look for a little bit of more brighter lighting on that so you get more light. That's what it looks like. So I'm going to take a break for you guys right now. Um, we're going to let this chill in the refrigerator for about a half hour. Then I'm going to roll them into about 15 to 18 um, balls on a cookie sheet with parchment paper. I'll be right back to show you that step next. Okay, so we're back. It's been uh, about a half hour. Um, took them out of the oven. I mean, I'm so sorry, took them out of the refrigerator. Um, placed them all out. Uh, a little tip for using these is you might want to use like a um, ice cream scooper, dip it in flour between these do get sticky, so if you're going to be trying to roll them into balls or trying to work with the hands, they will get sticky. So use like a tablespoon or like an ice cream scooper. Keep, you know, like a little bowl of flour. Keep re-dipping it into the flour and, you know, shaping your cookies. Otherwise, they will get a little sticky. So these are about to go in the oven. Um, 350 degrees for about, about 8 to 10 minutes. And 
Um, yeah, so I will be back in shortly and show you what they look like when they come on out of the oven. These smell absolutely amazing. Okay, so we are back one last time. Here we have the final product. Those smell amazing. They taste amazing. I've had them before. It's one of the staples of my uh, dieting when I want something sweet and I'm um, fasting, dieting, or uh, trying to lose weight. These are one of my go-to cookies. So I'll put the description in the link or the ingredients and the recipe and uh, comment. Let me know if you have any questions or if you make them how they come out.